And as important as social media is to your brand this day and age, my job is to maximize your reach so you can focus on what it is that you do best. Which is drop motherfucking bars. Oh, okay. Um, Matter of fact, let me spit something for you real quick. Well, no, you don't really have to do that. I just... Niggas is dying and I'm killing them. My Draco pops like Molly's and I'm not feeling them. Them cops hate me and I'm not feeling them. Niggas want to take my spot, I'm killing them. <laughs> Boss. What we had on the first? First. What we had on the first? No rehearse. <laughs> Go on, tell me your work. As you can see, I already have a huge following, so all I really need is somebody to manage my accounts for me so I can focus more on my modeling career. Right, well, um, I can see that you have over 500,000 followers on Instagram, uh, but you're only getting an average of 20 likes on your pictures. Yeah, 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 you know how that is. These chicks, they want to follow my moves, but don't nobody want to like anything. Okay, well, um, if, if I'm being honest, uh, to the trained eye, it looks like you may have bought fake followers. No disrespect to you and your trained eye, but the second coming of Beyonce never has to buy fake followers. Oh, so you, you sing too? Not yet. We know what your firm brings to the table, Mr. Michaels. Your reputation precedes itself. Actually, a nonprofit organization that we work very closely with out of New York spoke very highly of you. Well, I am hoping I can live up to all of the expectations and the hype. has become so infatuated with social media. It's to the point to where people even say the word hashtag when referring to the symbol that used to be considered a pound sign. I mean, we can't even eat a meal without taking a picture first to post it. If you're a business that doesn't utilize social media, you're pretty much a dinosaur at this point and need to get your head in the game. Seriously. Because there's companies spending millions of dollars to make sure that they have proper presence on social media. And that's where I come in. I have my own social media marketing firm running right out of Charlotte, North Carolina. As in, I work for myself. I have contracts with different companies to handle their accounts and they pay me quite well for it. As they should, since I have so many followers on social media that anything I post is pretty much a trending topic. So yeah, social media has been good to me. But let's take it back to my first day. How are you doing? Hey, Andrew Clark, public relations manager for the Panthers. All right, pleasure to meet you, pleasure to meet you. Have you been waiting long? Uh, not too long, not too long. Okay, well, since you've been waiting, let's get right to it. All right. All right. So I had put in a proposal to lock in the Panthers and they loved it. Then I had to meet with the boss lady to finalize it all. She understood my vision of how I'd approach the job. And man, it was, it was just something about her. But I wasn't in any type of shape to even be thinking about dating. Well, this looks like it's the beginning of a good relationship. I think so, too. It's definitely been a pleasure. Yep. And that's when I realized the universe is always listening. I mean, this love affair came out of nowhere. And the next thing I knew, we were spending all our time together. I mean, she was an intellectual, so we would just talk for hours about everything from our careers, sports, even religion. Don't 
pretend for me, babe. You know, it's been something I've really been wanting to ask you. Okay. Out of all the guys you had to choose from, why'd you choose me? Good question. No, honestly, most men are intimidated by a woman who has their shit together, and you weren't. That was a turn on for me. So I turned you on. You turned me on. <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky for you, I'm not most men, huh? Lucky for me? Yeah. My dad taught me to never really believe in luck. The smart man. Very smart. So what do you believe then? Well, I believe we're all racing to catch up with our own destiny. What about you? I believe I am your destiny. You believe you are my destiny? Yeah. And why do you believe this? Energy doesn't lie. Touche. Touche. So Andrea made me wait, which I didn't mind. <laughs> I could respect that. But then out the blue, I get a text telling me it's on tonight. <laughs> there we go. I ain't gonna say she gave me an ultimatum, but Andrea really wasn't about living together too much longer without us being married. And just like that, I had a living fiance. There you go. Slick, yo, what up? Hey, what she talking about? Oh, yeah, I'm good money, man. But. I do need a good wingman for later on when it's time for me to make that move. <coughs> Negative. Leo. Come on, man. Just like old times. Slick. You know I'm not about that life anymore. Come on, Leo. Damn, man. Yo, she done turned your ass off. <clears throat> well, since uh, Joker's married and Leo's out, I'm the best option. No, you're the only option. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what you mean? I'm actually kind of offended. Sorry. All right, man, look. Just don't bring up your baby mama. All right, it's not a good selling point. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not. Get it out. Get it out. <sighs> Damn. What? That's her friend? She bad too. Oh, shit. Change your plans. You're out. Leo, you're up. Wait, what? Man, it's a little bit above your pay grade. She's the one that got away. I'll be dead. 
Ooh. I didn't even know she was back in town. Yeah, well, you know now. Shit, yeah, man, look, no disrespect to Andrea. How'd you let that get away? It's a long story, man. Mm -hmm. Shit, man, I need mean, answers. Damn, she, she looking bad. good as shit, Slick. Damn right, she looking good, man. Yo, let's go talk to her. So, tell me how you managed to be back in Charlotte for two months now and not contact me. Well, I didn't know where we stood with the way things left off of us. Plus, it's kind of hard to miss all the engagement pics. You do know we still have mutual friends on Facebook, right? Right. I, I don't want to win post. I can respect that. You two seem happy together. She's a good girl. What does she do? She is the head of public relations for the Panthers. Oh. Moved out here three years ago. Wow. Three years ago. In public relations, you two must have great conversations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it helps so we can speak the same language at the house, you know. Oh, you live together? Do you have a date in mind? Uh, we haven't really talked about it in detail, you know. But you've talked about it. Mina, when you left. Leo, I know. Ironically enough, our love for one another is what kept us apart. That was a tough time. Is that why you stopped reaching out to me? The more I thought about you, the more I hurt. It was really tough for me, too. As great the opportunity was, it was very bittersweet. Not having you there to share and celebrate the experience with just made it feel... Empty. Leo, me now. I'll come <laughs> in the house. I'm doing something. All right, all right. Always a pleasure. Yes. Y'all ready to do this? Uh, yeah, all right, yeah. right, right, right. We got a winner. Yes, we did. Right. <laughs> Good. It's yeah. cute. Like it's it. always a pleasure. All right. See you guys so much. Good to see you. Oh. I haven't seen him in forever. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go close out. Promise. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll take care. No, you don't. You don't have to do that. Come on, man. You know how to do it. Just give me next time. Next time. It was really great catching up with you tonight, Leo. It was. Hopefully it's not three years before I get to see you again. Hopefully not. So I see you still wear my favorite perfume. I should go. Be safe. Okay. Text me. We'll do. All right. With you working so closely with these Panthers players, I know some of them have tried to holler at you, girl. Here and there, some see the ring, look at it as a challenge, but most are respectful and really cool. Well, you tell Cam, if he ever wants to do a quarterback sneak, my lips are sealed. Hell, you and me both. <laughs> so who's the latest player that did something that you had to clean up? <laughs> you know I can't tell you that. I know, but I figured it doesn't hurt to ask. If I keep asking, maybe one day you'll need to vent and just let it all out. That's a really good strategy. Sometimes with everything that goes on, honestly, a lot of venting wouldn't hurt. I bet Leo knows all the secrets. His boy Slick has been asking about you. Really? Yeah. I see him around here and there. He's kind of cute. Would mm -hmm. you co-sign him? 
I will co-sign. I'm six a good dude. He's a big flirt, but he's really cool. So what does he do? <laughs> what? He's a mortgage analyst for Wells Fargo. Uh, <laughs> what? No, I don't do the nine to five corporate type. They're normally squares. Well, how do you expect to find the right one if you keep limiting your options? I've dated a nine to five type and usually the same thing keeps happening. They have to get their ass up from work. I'm still laying in the bed and they start to get jealous, especially when they realize that I make more from a few meetings a week than they do work at 40 hours a week. They be mad and steady trying to figure out what it is I do. I got time for that. Hell, I know your ass for two years now and I still don't know what you do. <laughs> but I can see how that can be an issue. So you said Leo was out with his boys last night? <clears throat> yeah. Cute. Who's that? That's Mina Giselle. She used to do a lot of nonprofit work for some of the foundations that the Panthers had. Okay. So several years ago, she moved overseas to work for a nonprofit before moving back to New York to start her own. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. Seeming as though. Seeming as though what? Seeming as though her and Leo used to be really close. How close? Real close. He's never mentioned her before? Well, we really don't talk about our past relationships. I'm pretty sure there's a reason why he's never brought her up. Oh, there's a reason. Men only tell you information on a need-to-know basis. If he's never said anything about her, it's because she meant that much to him that he never wanted to bring up how much he cared for her to protect you. Protect me from what? He doesn't want you sitting around thinking that he's gonna go see this woman he's had a past with. I wouldn't think that. Exactly. You know why? Because he's never given you a reason to think that. Have you ever had another bitch approach you on some bullshit? Hell no. <laughs> then I wouldn't trip. Chances are, if he is messing around, if you haven't found out, you'll never find out. Well, that's not reassuring. You're basically telling me that if he cheated or decides to cheat, that I'll never find out. Bitch, would you want to find out? Yes, that's something I would want to know. Shit, not me. So, what are your deal breakers? You go on a first date thinking about deal breakers. Of course I do, especially if it's someone that I'm meeting for the first time that I've only talked to online. There are way too many weirdos out here on these dating sites than to let my best friend go through something like that. What does he do? He's a social media specialist. Ah, oh, social media specialist. So if he doesn't have at least 5,000 followers, then that's a deal breaker. Is he married? I would assume no. It, it says single on his profile. Social media profile or dating page profile? Dating page profile. Mm, I wouldn't believe that either. He could be trying to pose as single and still be married or legally separated or... <laughs> he doesn't seem to have that vibe about him. Oh, so is he a Fresh Prince fan or a Martin fan? <laughs> okay, that I don't know. <laughs> like, you absolutely have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Girl, these are important matters. Deal breakers. You're crazy. All I'm saying is that it's only so much you can know about somebody if I just communicate with them online. I agree, bro. There's certain things you should have found out at this point to see if you're even wasting your time. <sighs> wasting my time. Does this look like I'm wasting my time? Whoa. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. I sure hope this isn't a catfish situation. Who are you telling? Come on. How long y'all been talking? About two weeks, but every day for the last two weeks. <laughs> oh shit. 
I ain't find out this nigga got a twinkle in his eye. He ain't even met the chick in person yet. I don't know, man. See, this got like this real special vibe about it, bro. It just feels like we've known each other forever. Yeah, I ain't know. First dates can be a little awkward. Yeah, but we really hadn't established it as a date, per se. So let me get this straight. Now, this is the first time that y'all are seeing and meeting each other at a specific location and time, right? Technically. But calling it a date for so much pressure on it, bro. Man, this is a date, bro. Agree to disagree. Quite sure if it was you. You knew it was me. Do you want a drink? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Excuse me. I mean, can you imagine what it would be like if we still had Selena and Aaliyah? Mm. Yeah, like the entire landscape of music would be different. For me, in my eyes, the Selena movie is a must see for all little girls. Just say it. <laughs> yeah. They were both like way ahead of their times. Both gone like way too soon. Mm. I will never forget when my dad took me to see the Selena concert. Mm. I was 12 years old <laughs> and it changed my life forever. Right. She's such an inspiration to everybody. Mm. <laughs> well, it's actually pronounced Maina, but people seem to have a hard time with that, so they just call me Mina. Oh, <laughs> Maina. That doesn't seem too hard. Well, maybe you're one of the special few who can actually pronounce it correctly. <laughs> special few? I think I might like the sound of that. Um, I don't know. Maybe too soon to tell. <laughs> well, I'm glad you told me to come over. Yeah. I, I don't recall telling you to come over, mm. but, but I'm glad you did. You told me with your eyes. Mm. Yeah. So you got onto that. I did. <laughs> Los ojos son la puerta del alma. Ay, mm. y habla español oh. impresionante. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Creo que en nuestras vida pasada éramos amantes. You think you can just come over here and say a couple romantic things in Spanish to get me to leave with you? Is it working? Maybe. Mina was ambitious. She was the first person that I'd ever met that was as driven as I was. That in itself was the biggest turn off for me. Then we just felt hard for each other. I know you heard it all. Shopping, the good life, champagne popping. Lit jazz, Aston Martin. They can't take you where I can. I can see it in your eyes. You're tired of wasting your time. Wait, so what was that? So, okay. Mm -hmm. Nosotros mm -hmm. son celebrando mm -hmm. el cumpleaños de la amor de mi vida. Oh. <laughs> Feliz cumpleaños, man. Thank you. I love when he talks Spanish. Te quiero. I love you. See ya. <laughs> So, does he have any baby mamas or crazy exes? No baby mamas, and 
I'm not sure about crazy exes. What do you mean? That's something you should know about at this point. What am I supposed to do? Be like, hey, Leo, I really love the way this is going. Oh, by the way, do you have any crazy ass ex-girlfriends I need to know about? Mina, this is what social media is for. You use that shit to your advantage. I know you've been looking through his social media profiles. I have. But unfortunately, none of the pics that I can see that have women in them have a caption that say, I'm the crazy bitch you need to worry about in the future. What do you mean the pics you can see? We're not friends on Facebook and we haven't followed each other on social networks yet. Why not? Don't you want to know what's going on in his life every day? I know what's going on in his life every day because I'm with him most of the time. Hmm, <laughs> sounds fishy to me. What if he's trying to hide this relationship from someone on social media? He's not that type of person. And besides, we haven't exactly established the fact that we're both mutually exclusive. So, no established exclusivity. You're not following each other on social media. This doesn't even qualify as going together. <laughs> Me personally, I don't ever see myself get married. It's just another American hustle designed to keep everyone but the couple rich. Another hustle. It's like all of these holidays designed to get people to spend all their hard earned money on bullshit. Exactly. Valentine's Day. Show the person you love just how much you care about them by buying them flowers and candy on one day I'm like, what's up with the other 364 days? And don't even get me started on Christmas. It's like, hey everybody, we need to make sure that we're profitable by year's end. Right after Thanksgiving, what we need you to do is go into the new year broke by spending money on gifts for everybody you love to celebrate the birth of Christ. And remember, what would Jesus do? That's how they do you. Just think about all the money you spend on the wedding alone. You got the venue, the food, the DJ, the photographer, the wedding dress. Tuxedos for the groomsmen, dresses for the bridesmaids, and then you got the honeymoon. You spend so much money on a wedding that you go into the marriage broke. Then they say statistically, 50% of all marriages end. And one of the main reasons, finances. Right, with the other main reason being sex. Cause it's hard as hell to make love to a motherfucker that you're beefing with over yeah, money. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then the divorce comes. Now you gotta pay out more money. Like, you wanna leave the person that you feel like you no longer can live with? Cool. But now you got all these high ass court lawyer fees. Pay up. Look, and then to add insult to injury, they got this thing called alimony. Well, you got to pay a monthly payment to the same motherfucker that probably messed up the money in the first place. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what got you smiling on your phone like that? Me to just send me your friend request on Facebook. Oh shit. What? What you mean what? You know what this is, right? Y'all been together this long, and now she sends you a friend request? She's trying to keep tabs on you, bro. She's not trying to keep tabs on me, bro. Hell, I'm with her most of the time anyway. Then why now? Hmm? Tell her you don't accept it. Don't accept it. And if it ever does come up, you better tell her that due to your professional social media, that you get a lot of friend requests and you ain't even see this one come in. No, no, no. Better yet, that you at your max friend request and you can't even accept it anyway. So, you're pretty much saying I should lie. Leo, yes. what you gotta ask yourself is do you believe that she's secure and confident enough to deal with all the women that's gonna be liking and commenting on your pics? No, shit. You need to keep it real with yourself. Do you think you can deal with the same shit on her end? Shit, you know I'm not tripping on that shit. <laughs> Alright. Alright. That is until another nigga is all up in her page and shit. 
commenting on her pics, putting emojis, hard eyes, and kisses. No, I'm serious. You know the kind of messages a bad chick like me gets. Yeah, I do. But you are like, I ain't never been with a bad chick before. This is the first one that I remember you being with that had type of effect on you. Don't accept it. Don't do it to yourself. I think your phone went off. Hmm. Just late. Everything okay? Um, uh, yeah. So, who's Michelle? She's an old friend. All your old friends texted at 1 a.m.? But you went through my phone? No, I didn't go through your phone. I'm not insecure. Your phone went off and I thought it was mine and I saw the message on the screen. She's somebody I used to see before we met. So you haven't seen her since we met? I haven't seen her since we started spending all of our time together. That's two different answers. So I can't have friends? Don't do that. I'm just saying. You're just saying what? I'm just saying I've never said anything about you and Derek's relationship. I've known Derek for years. We've been best friends since forever. I don't even see him like that. He's like a brother to me. Right, that's naive. What? I'm a man, I know how men think. All he doing is waiting for the right opportunity and all that brother-sister bullshit is out the window. Okay, you're tripping. Okay, whatever. Even if that is the case, I don't look at him like that. Whatever, yo. Leo, mirame. Look, I only ask about Michelle because I've never felt for anyone the way I feel for you. And maybe I got jealous for a second. You don't have to worry about Derek or anyone else for that matter, okay? All I want is you. Well, I guess I believe you since you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you don't have to worry about anybody else either. I've got exactly who I want. Okay. No more jealous. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight, there's a huge gala for a foundation that Mina works with. These nights are fun as we take pride in being the flyest on any scene. The experience. Rolling with me, you can be camera shy. When we step out, we gotta be camera fly. You know, dressed to the T, the cameras don't lie. Addicted to the lights, I'm on the camera high. Tonight is my night, I came to get it in. Everybody rolling with me is getting in. We don't wait in the line, we walk right in. Let the party begin Cause I'm the center of attention Everybody's watching Center of attention Everybody's watching I swear watching you get ready is like a work of art I need to put you up on one of these walls somewhere You trying to break some hearts tonight? I don't know about breaking hearts, but I'm definitely trying to turn some heads Oh, you're definitely gonna be the center of attention, baby <laughs> Hey, what shoe do you think goes better? Uh, those That's what I thought, too Yeah Okay Hello? This is she? Yes, that's correct. Oh, thank you. 
Yes, yes, I'm available Monday. Okay, all right, great, I'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye. That was the foundation that I interviewed with last week. They want me okay. to come in on Monday. They said they loved me and they want to me to be part of a project. Of oh my God. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank oh you. my God, I'm so proud of you. So um, when will you start? They didn't say, but I'll be gone for two months. Oh, two months, okay, okay. Look, 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 we need to go. We need to yes, go. Yes, we can yes, talk yes, about yes. it in the car. Okay. Come on. Welcome home. You know, it felt like you were never coming home. I know. <laughs> so, um, did you have you a little side boo while you was gone? You know, it's funny you should say that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, seriously. Spending that much time away from you really made me realize that I never want to spend that much time away from you ever again. Leo, I, I need to tell just, just let me finish. From the first time I saw you, I knew that you were special. And from that moment, I knew that I wanted to spend as much time with you as I possibly could. I guess... I guess what I'm trying to say is, if I had it my way, I would spend the rest of my life with you. So would you please do me the honor of being my wife? <laughs> I'm hoping those are tears of joy. Leo, I would love to be your wife. But there's something I have to tell you before I answer that. Like what? The Foundation offered me another assignment overseas. Um, okay, um, how long is it for? Indefinitely. Weeks. 
And you bring this up now? I wanted to tell you in person. The last thing I wanted to do was tell you while I was still there and make the load that much heavier. But look, I've been thinking. What if you came with me? <clears throat> I, um, I wanted it to be a surprise. While you were gone, I put in a proposal for the Panthers contract. I had a meeting with them and it went really, really well. I'm um, feeling real confident about getting it. That's great. That's so great. <laughs> yeah, um, it doesn't feel so great at the moment. I uh, wouldn't even be in this position if it wasn't for you. You would, have, you would have to be here for that. Yeah. I, I can turn the position down. Bullshit. You're taking that position. What does that mean for us? Hey babe, you see my cell phone charger? Um, yeah, uh, last time I saw it was in the bedroom somewhere. Yeah, that's what I thought too, but it's not there. I'm not, I'm not sure babe. Okay, well I have to make a very important call and my phone is dead, so I need to use yours. What's your passcode? Um, give me the phone, I'll put it in for you. You can't just give me the passcode, Leah? Um, 0716. Thank you. Man, Leo, holler at you for a second. Man, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Yeah, holler at your boy, man. What's up? Oh. What's up, What's up with the pics I saw you and Mina the other night? <laughs> yeah, at the spot. You online? Right, right. I mean, you got some balls. Right. You know that, right? <laughs> man, look, as soon as that camera flashed, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh. It's starting to get crazy. Andrea, say anything about it? I mean, she was acting all crazy and shit the other day. You know what I'm saying? Right, I right. mean, she didn't say anything about it. But I mean, if I had to take a guess, I'm gonna guess that she's seen it. Yeah, I mean, nigga. Yeah. Everybody saw it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I came in front though. I mean, it looked just like the old days. Right. But um, yo, how was the energy though? Energy was just like it used to be, man. Yeah. It can't be good for you and Andrea. I mean, you know, at some point, she gonna be able to pick up on the energy. You know, I think we'll be all right, man. I mean, if like we was in a rough patch or something like that, I think we might have an issue. But we we in a good space right now, man. Good so space, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let me ask you another question. What's up? You ever talked to her about Mina? <laughs> Shit, no. Why would I? <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Shit. you plan on it? We gorgeous. And why does she still have pictures of her and Leo on her page? Oh, this nigga out here speaking Spanish and shit. Girl, as soon as this nigga walks through this door, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Wait, what happened? I can't believe him. Out here speaking Spanish and shit? Spanish? Girl, what the hell are you talking about? Tell me why this chick still has pictures of her and Leo on her page. Girl, this shit is old. You been drinking? Damn right I been drinking. But that doesn't even matter. I'm pissed. Oh my God. You blowing my vibe. I'm coming over. No, don't come over here. 
I don't want any company. I'm going to sit my ass right here on this chair and wait for him to walk through this damn door. And do what? Lex, I'm done talking. I don't want any company. Don't come over here. You and get my text. No, I didn't. What did you say? Hmm. Never mind. It wasn't that important. Coming up. text. Walk his ass in here at 6 a.m. like shit sweet. So she just left? Yep. <laughs> Drunk as shit and mad as hell. So did she say like, like I'm leaving? Or like, I'm leaving? Honestly, bro, <laughs> it sounded like both. Yeah, it sounded like both. Man, the question I got, man, how did she get your passcode in the first place? Bro, I don't know, man. You know, they got all different types of apps and shit or whatever these days, man. I'm just... You really want to know. When you get home, find the shirt that he had on. Smell it and see if it has a perfume on it that you don't wear. Or if you guys are just chilling, tell him your phone is dead. Ask him to use his phone. If he gives you his passcode, memorize it. Go in later and see who he's been talking to. Hey babe, you see my cell phone charger? <laughs> what did you do, Leo? Oh, shit. I think I gave it to her. Hold on, you gave it to her? I think I gave it to her. And you didn't delete none of the messages after you sent them, huh? Bruh, I ain't had to do that in so long, man. I wasn't thinking about that shit. She gonna ask me, are me and Mina sleeping together? Who are you? No, bruh, come on, man. Hey, man, I'm just saying. I saw. I saw the twinkle in your eye when we saw it the other day. 
and I know how y'all do. Bro, I ain't messed around on Andrea since we've been together, man. That's why I'm tripping because I've never given her a reason like not to trust me. Ever. Man, I'm telling you, until we get an actual franchise player and start winning games consistently, yeah. I mean, things will never be like it was when we had LJ and Zoe. Man, the energy at the Hive back then was crazy. Yo, remember when Zoe hit that shot to beat the Celtics in the playoffs, man? Oh, yeah, man, when he fell to the floor with his hands in the air. Dang, I want that feeling back again. Man, Mike, Mike seemed like he trying to bring that feeling back. Yeah, man, he trying, man. I'm just glad that we the Hornets again, because that oh, whole yeah. Bobcats thing was a terrible idea. Yeah, man. It was terrible. Yeah, it was. Oh, shit. Shorty right there, man. I follow her on Instagram, man. Mm. She look even better in person. Damn. Mm. Shit, man. She be liking some of my pics and shit. Yo, man, when she get up here, man, you better get her. Mm. Oh, excuse me. How you doing today? Well, I was good until your wife started threatening me on Instagram. What? Wife? I'm not even married. Okay. See, men like you make it hard for the good guys out there. What? What? See? Man, oh, See? hell no, nah, man. Baby mama commenting on my pics and shit, talking about leave my <laughs> husband alone. See? That's why I don't put you on. Man, she got people thinking we married and shit. <laughs> Damn, That's man. why I don't put you on. Man, look, man, I'm gonna have to meet you at the office. I'm gonna have to take care of this, man. All right, man. Yo, yo, you still coming through tonight, man? We gotta get Leo out the house. Bro. Yeah, man, I'm gonna holler at you later. I'm gonna meet y'all out there, all right? All right, man. All right, man. <laughs> Come and handle that. Damn, man. It's like, what up? <laughs> cool it, man. Oh. What, you was waiting by the door or something? Sure was. <laughs> you already know, man. Shit, kids should be bugging, man. Uh, Talking about, oh, oh, so you can find time to spend with your friends, but you can't spend any time with me? <laughs> Damn. Shit, she took care of herself and stopped walking around the house looking like Ann your mama. <laughs> Maybe I would spend some time with her, man. Damn. Uh, gotta love the married life. No, you don't. Yeah. Shit. Anyway, man, hit Leo up, man. Let's see what's up. All right, bet. Let me uh, find still number. Bye. Right. Yo, what up? Leo Legend. What up? What's going on with you, Playboy? What you up to? Over here working as usual, man. Working, man. Look, hey, hey. We come over there to get your ass up out the house so we can go out tonight. What's Word. up? Yeah, we know that. That's exactly why we're coming over and bringing you some of this. Yeah, yeah. You see that right there? That bottle's going to get all those troubles off your mind so we can go out and see some ass and some tight skirts. You know what I'm saying? Right. Women are the last thing on my mind right now, man. Hold up. You say women on the last thing on his mind? Man. Leo, man, what are you talking about, man? You ain't that depressed, man, bro. You like shit. I got work I need to finish up for a client, man. man. Dog. Dog, it ain't even all about seeing women. All right, we just trying what? to get up. We just trying to get up and kick it. All right, that work can wait till the morning. It is about seeing women. So get your dusty ass up. Get, get yourself together. Right, we on the way. We on the way. Thirty minutes. We will be there. Leo. Max, Leo, you got thirty minutes, bro. We on the way. All right, get ready, nigga. All right, all right. We on the way. About thirty minutes, Max. All right. all right, man. All right, all right. Come on now. One. One. Ha <laughs> ha. Damn, man. Yo. Yo, I ain't seen him like that since. Yeah, yeah, I know. Damn. And you know what's ironic? Man, is that she's the common denominator in all this. That's that's the that's the crazy thing about it. She's the common denominator in all of Yo, this. Yo, man, is he hitting that? Man, he says no. She. She he might as well be here in trouble for it anyway. You preach to the choir, brother. You are Shh. preaching to the choir. Damn. Man, these women on IG. Good. God, I love social media. See this? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Tell me about it. Yeah. Man, it's, it's just making it so easy to smash now. Go back to that one. Go. Mm. So easy to smash now because look, man, because shit, back in the day, man, you had to really get to know a chick. Right, you know, right, take right. her out, 
You had to be romantic. Mm-hmm. You know, you had to act like you gave a damn about what she was talking about. You know, right. the preliminaries. Yeah. But now, man, people's lives are so accessible because they they update their status every other minute. It's like you, it's like you already know. Mm. Hmm. That's a piece of cake for me. She got a ankle around her, her neck, man. Damn, man. Well, you know what, mm, man. Mm, I, mm. I'm gonna have to get that IG shit a rest, man. Straight up. You know huh? what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've come to the conclusion that IG ain't nothing but the devil. Nothing but the <laughs> devil, man. <laughs> man. Why you say that? What you talking about, man? Look, man, um, you can't tell nobody about this shit. <laughs> come on, man. You say, like, man, come on, man. You know how we do, man. Come on, what happened? All right, so I'm at the crib, right? Mm. On my day off, mm. on the computer, you know, on IG, of course. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at, you know, pick some bit, you know, mm. whatever. Now, mind you now, it's been about, you know, a month, month and a half since, you know, me and Keisha had sex, right? Mm. So, you know, I'm looking at the videos, twerk compilations, you know, ass and titties <laughs> shaking, it's going down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, mind you know, now I got a, a, a rock hard now, you know what I'm saying? So, what's a married man supposed to do? In this particular situation, who's not getting any type of play from his wife? She, I get the lotion and proceeds to go to work. You know what I'm saying? About a minute later, all of a sudden, I hear the keys to the front door open. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. What? That's right. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Keisha took a, a half a day or some shit to run errands and neglected to, to inform me about it, man. <laughs> So now, I'm trying to put the lotion away, <laughs> and at the same time, hit the minimize button to, 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 to smell the screen down, but then my damn nerves are so damn bad that my, my damn hands are shaking. Oh my god, what? What, what happened? What happened? Yeah, man. <laughs> so the next thing I know, the door is wide open, and she's standing there looking at me, you know what I'm saying? I got a bottle of lotion in my hand. Ass and titties shaking on the screen, and I'm sitting there looking stupid as hell with nothing but a tank top on yeah. and my dick hard as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like a deer stuck in hell. Like, I'm like, yo, 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 man, what in the yeah. hell, yo? Yeah. What? What did she say? Oh she my goodness, say, what? Shit. She didn't say nothing. Y'all have tears over I here. I mean, to this day, oh. we haven't even discussed it, man. Oh man! But wow. you know what? I mean, no, some real shit though, slick. On, on wow. some real shit. I, I, I think it was, I think it was a wake up call, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I think it was definitely a wake up call. Uh, you know, it was, oh, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I could have had another broad up in the crib to be honest with you, but I definitely yeah. think it was a wake up call. Yeah, I guess so. Why you say that, man? Cause that night, mm. she fucked me like she did on our wedding night. Uh, I mean, nigga, she was doing shit to me that, you know what I'm saying, she, she, we ain't done since we was dating, you know what I'm saying, she messed around and did some type of super suplex move on me, you know what I'm saying, next thing I heard was finish him, you know what I'm saying, next thing, and then wake up in the morning, I wake up in the morning, I'm in the fetal position, you know what I'm saying, man. neck brace on and all, <laughs> sure, but man. yeah, man, I, I, I think it was, um, I think it was definitely a wake up call, straight up, um, so if you ask me, man, I think you, I think you should be thankful. I should be thankful. Yeah, what the hell, I gotta be thankful. Yeah, about. You, should, you should be thankful. For what? Because if you weren't looking at those pictures, it'd have been another month before you got some ass. And count your blessings, bro. Another month. Another month, blessing in disguise. <laughs> you, 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 you might, you might, you might, you might have a point. Yeah, I know. You I might know. Have a point. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yo, man, let me let's go get this dude. Hey, yo, slick. <laughs> yo, don't tell this shit to nobody. Man, bro. I ain't gonna tell nobody, man. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh. Body to body, a body you all. Now this ain't a hobby. I live in the fuck around and buy out the mall just to break up the monotony. I'm just saying. There's different classifications women can fall under that determines how much I'm willing to spend on them. Nigga, you acting like we buying call girls and escorts. Yo, it's the same shit. Trust me. Okay, so how is 
taking the girl out to eat or on a date, the same thing as buying an escort. <laughs> All right. When you take a girl out to eat or on a date, what's in the back of your mind? Ah, uh, is she gonna let me smash? Right, All right. right. Now, chances are, if you didn't take her out first and spend some bread, you wouldn't even be in the running to smash. Damn. So all you're doing is paying money to spend time with her with hopes of hitting it at the end of the night. Now with an escort, same thing. There's just no question whether or not you're gonna be in there at the end of the night. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so what are these different classifications? All right, for that, I'm gonna ask the assistance of my esteemed colleague, my brother Leo. All right, Leo, talk to me, man. It's about to get interesting. Great, bro. Great. All right. So, some women are just cute. It's something about them that you find attractive. Yeah. Those are the ones you keep in the friend zone. Okay, and why is that? Because those are your road dogs. Those are the girls that's going to help you get the other girls. Right, right. Okay. Unless she's cute and sexy, then all bets are off for the friend zone. Because you're around each other so much, all it's going to take is one drunk night, where the moon's just right, mm. <laughs> boom, smash. Yeah. All right, so cute is friend zone, but cute and sexy is not. Oh, man, because a chick that's sexy changes everything. A woman can be sexy and not even be the prettiest girl in the room. Being sexy comes from having confidence and style. OK, I can okay. see that. Then there are the naturally pretty ones. I mean, little to no makeup, just, just beautiful. But put a dress on her, get her hair done, right. and throw on some killer heels. And she's got all the attention from everybody in the room. Everybody. Okay. Those are the ones you can wife. Okay. And then there are the ones that are just fine. I'm talking drop dead gorgeous. gorgeous. Bad. Super bad. Yeah. Those are the ones you're going to have to compete for the most because they've always got dudes in their ears. Oh, I'm talking right. about the ball, yeah. the entertainers, uh, the hustlers. And you want to know what the common denominator is between all of them? What's that? Back to the money. I, I appreciate y'all schooling me. Classifications. Classifications. Hey, Leo, since we're on the uh, subject of classifications, um, what does Andrea fit in? the classification <laughs> realm. That's a good ass question. Right, David? No, it no. is. I mean, she up here, or she down here, or she I'm curious. I'm, 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 I'm really curious. <laughs> what she asked, Slick? Maybe in the middle? Really to find that. That's funny, huh? That's <laughs> <y'all> funny. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Like, you know, that's what we're doing? I want to know. I'm just man, minds. I came out here tonight, man, to get my mind off of all of that, man. All right, all right, all right. I understand. It's cool, it's cool. So answer this, then. What she got to say about all this anyway? I don't know. So, I ain't talked to her about it. You haven't talked to her? No. Oh, Leo, wait a second. Hold on. So, she accused you of cheating, but yet you haven't talked to her to explain that you haven't? I don't have to explain myself. I didn't do shit. If anything, she should be explaining herself. She went through my phone. Well... But Leo, as strong as women are, man, they have their weak moments. I mean, she just needs to be reassured that she's the only one for you. She doesn't know Mina, and you never talk about her. So the only thing she knows about you two's past relationship is what she reads and other people. And no telling what the hell they saying. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong, man. So my feet are killing me. <laughs> Yours too. <laughs> selfie time. Oh, so you're not too tired to take a selfie? Mm. These basic bitches be lurking on my Instagram. Like I don't even know. Damn, ghost following. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> hmm. So Leo and his boys are out. Slick just posted a picture of them. I know, I saw Leo's status earlier today. 
Talking about much needed night out with the fellas. Hashtag <laughs> drama free. Whatever, nigga. <laughs> so you follow Slick on IG? Yeah, I check him out every now and then. But it's not like I look at all his pictures or anything like that. Uh-huh. I will tell you this, though. He follows a lot of half-naked bitches on Instagram. <laughs> wait, wait. So you're looking at who the man follows? It sounds like you're borderline stalking. You can find out a lot about people by who they follow. You should know that, Miss Public Relations. Okay. You never looked to see who Leo was following on IG? Not at all. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I never really paid it that much attention. Of course, I look at the pictures he posts of us, but that's about it. What? Now you have me curious. <laughs> see what this nigga been up to. <laughs> Who are these bitches and why do they all have their asses out? Most of them are just strippers and models. Oh, so every week he makes one of them his woman crush Wednesday? I don't see any post of me being his woman crush. Yeah, a lot of dudes make women their woman crush Wednesday. It's just cold word for, hey, I fuck you if you ever give me a chance. And the women who make other chicks their woman crush, I think are closet lesbos. Okay, where are these bitches getting these bodies from? Look at that. Girl, they swear they do squats, but I think it's just Photoshop and ass shots. Okay, but why is he following them? Girl, it's men's nature. I don't look anything like any of these women. Is this what he wants? here to have a drink and get some reading in. Oh, okay. You looking to start your own business? Yes, indeed, because nine to five is how to survive. I ain't trying to survive. I'm <laughs> trying to live it to the limit and love it alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let them have a seat. Not at all. So, I have a question for you. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, what would that be? What the hell is your real name? <laughs> Everybody I ask just knows you as Slick. <laughs> like, what's up with that? So you've been asking about me? Maybe. Okay, okay, well. That's the case. Jamarcus Boyd. Okay, Jamarcus Boyd. <laughs> so what type of business are you trying to open? Now that may be classified information. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'm working on becoming a mortgage broker. See, I've been a mortgage analyst for Wells Fargo since I got out of college, and with that experience and knowing the ins and outs of the business, I figure why keep making them rich? I can make the money myself. So what ideas do you have for marketing your services? Now that's when my man Leo comes into play. So he's been helping me come up with a marketing strategy through social media. And we figured I have the advantage in that field because a lot of my other competitors rely heavily on older forms of marketing and promoting. So I think we're on to some. Sounds like you have it all mapped out. Not everything, <laughs> but I'm getting there. Speaking of Leo, what's up with your boy? <laughs> He's taking my girl through it right now. <laughs> you taking your girl through it? Shit, Leo ain't in the best place himself. <gasps> Try to tell him they need to talk. Yeah, they definitely need to talk. I got an idea. What's that? You and I need to get him in the same room together. Yeah, we definitely should. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Okay, okay. You can set that up. You can set that up. Okay. So what you working on? Just browsing some things for my business. Love you, but I can be independent. I was a top and put I miss you. Remember. I love you, but I can be independent. I was a top and put
Well, again, thank you so much for meeting with me. I'm so yeah. glad we finally did this. Absolutely. And uh, I'm going to send you a follow-up email. Give me like an hour or okay. so, but I'll send you all the details and we'll go from there. Sounds good. All right. Awesome. Thank Absolutely. you. Take yes. care. Have a good Have one. A, you too. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> good. How are you? Good. <laughs> See you working as always. No days off, baby. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been out here? 45 minutes or so. Mm. Mm. Hey, I'm glad I ran into you. Right. Sit down for a second. Yeah. So, last night I was at a mixer in New York. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and I ran into the VP of marketing for Gucci. Wow. It turns out they're looking for a new person to manage their social media accounts. I told her I had <laughs> the absolute perfect person for the job. Wow. She asked me to follow up with her about it. Damn. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to get that account anyway. You know, I got your back. Always. Well, it's a huge opportunity. So uh, when you get your contract, <laughs> you'll get to go to Italy for a few months. I've been looking forward to visiting Italy anyway. Now's your chance, big time. This will be huge for you. Who even sent you that picture in the first place? I don't think that matters. Was it you in the picture? Look, I don't know what you thought you saw in that picture, but it wasn't that at all. Really? Leo, I see the way you look at her. She makes you smile in a way that I've never seen. I just wish the two of you would have saved me the public embarrassment because everyone knew about the history between you two but me. Why do you keep making this about her? Mm -mm, don't tell me I'm making this about her. You're making this about her. Do you still love her? Why would you even ask me that? I love you. Answer the question. Exactly. Exactly. I'm obviously not the one you want, so why ask me to marry you in the first place? How can you even say that? You know what we have is real. Okay. I was wrong in not telling you about the depth of our relationship. I apologize for that. But I don't talk about that shit to anyone. It was a very dark time for me. Leo, let me put this in a way so you can better understand. You, you allow the history between you two to blindside me. So if you're gonna allow that to happen, how do I even know you're ready for marriage? I'll be by to get the rest of my things tomorrow morning. Do not be there when I come. Good day, Mr. Michaels.
Everything good on the job? Work is work. <laughs> Any luck with those tickets yet? Dad, you just won't let up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It never hurts to ask. So, you gonna tell me what's wrong or we gonna play that game you like to play? Why do you think something's wrong? So, we're playing the game. Well, for starters, you haven't eaten your food. And as long as we've been coming out here, you've never not eaten. And secondly, you're already on your third glass of wine. And most importantly, the obvious, you're not wearing your engagement ring. Why is that? I gave it back and moved out. You gave it back? What happened? Long story. Well, it can't be that long because just last month you two were planning your wedding. I don't see how it can go from that to giving the ring back. Leo's still in love with his ex dad. And how do you know this? Well, he told her sometimes he feel he only got engaged to fill the void of them not being together. But how do you know this? I went through his phone and read his messages. Oh shit. Before you start judging me, just know he withheld telling me he asked that girl to marry him. Now, look. You know I never judge. But what does it matter if he was planning to marry you? Because, Dad. It was embarrassing to find out about their relationship on social media. Social media. How many times have I told you not to let your phone and social media control your life? This is different, Dad. How? So where will you be staying? Yes, you do. Just let me know when you're ready to move your things in. But let me ask you this. If social media didn't exist, would you still be getting married? So Andrea changed her relationship status and now the reality is setting in that she's really gone. And I'm sitting here trying to find the words to say but I just keep drawing blanks. Thinking I may have played this one a little wrong. There's only one other person I can talk to to help put things into perspective. is my guy, but whenever smoking a cigar, he always turns the AC off. Something about keeping the air in the room pure. I don't know. Nephew, do you still love him? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Wait, but, but who are you talking about? Don't do that, nephew. Don't do that. See, that in itself is the issue. Let me ask you a question. Do you know the difference between a life partner and a soulmate? The soulmate is someone who comes to take you on a higher level of consciousness. And there's a lot of extremes, highs and lows, to the point where they're in your life for a reason and a season. After the reason, they're gone. 
they're gone. And with the soulmate, you got to understand that they bring so much energy to the relationship mm -hmm. that a lot of times you'll find yourself doing things that you never thought that you could do. Mm -hmm. The life partner is somebody who bonds with you intellectually, help you make logical decisions, okay? See, with the life partner, you might not have that deep spiritual connection that you have with your soulmate, mm -hmm. but you do have a connection. I mean, the kind of connection like you've been knowing them all your life. And because you don't have all of the extreme highs and lows, mm -hmm. it's a benefit to the relationship. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you will probably want to marry this female mm -hmm. and start a family with her. Let me ask you this question. If Mina hadn't left, do you think you two would still be together? Yeah, I mean, if, if she wouldn't have left, we'd be married by now. But she did leave. She might have not have left you for somebody else, nephew, but she left. And I remember what that did to you, nephew. And you broke up, man. You were broke up. And then come Andrea with that mean walk that she got made you feel good about falling in love all over again. I mean, nephew, you got so close to this female, you moved her in, and then you proposed to her. As long as we've been together, I've never given her a reason to even think that I was gonna cheat on her or that I cheated. So when she accused me of cheating, that's all I was hung up on, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's your angle. Okay, let me show you her angle. How you think she's supposed to feel? How you think she's supposed to feel when you holding on to a female whom in her mind is still somebody that you care about and still in your life? What do you think she asking herself, where do I fit in in this relationship? Where do I fit in in his life? You was trying to keep her. You were trying to have it both ways. That's how she was looking at it. And it don't work like that. I tell you what, hit your uncle with what she said when you dropped it on him. Honestly, I never even broke it all down to her. So let me get this right. So you got this girl thinking that you still involved with a female whom you got in your life and you still care about this female? That's the angle you were hitting her with? But when you put it like that, oh. Mm-hmm. 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 See, nephew, listen. This is a major problem with this young generation, nephew. I love you. But that young generation, man, listen. Ain't nobody communicating no more. I call it the lost art of conversation. See, I ain't bow-legged, but your uncle old school like Red Fox. So if I wanted to talk to a female, I'd pick up the phone and call her. Better than that, I'd go see her. Nowadays, all you gotta do is pick up that smartphone, you text, you hit them up on social media, Twitter, and you think you in. You ain't in. You still out. So from where I'm sitting, what I'm seeing, seems to me we need to go back to the basics. Because it seems to me you forgot about one of the three C's that I told you about to have a healthy relationship. Communication. Ah, you remember. So see, you right where you need to be, nephew. The only thing you have to do now is figure out who is who so you don't mess around and lose them both. And you don't want to lose them both. I can see it in your face. You don't want to lose them both, nephew. So did it look like they were on a date? Bruh, that's exactly what it looked like. Miss Nigga T, I'm telling you. He been trying to push up on her for a minute, bruh. 
all in my face of her little work functions and shit. But then the first nigga, soon she changed her relationship status on her Facebook page, talking about, are you okay? <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, that's how niggas do, man. That's how they do. I know, man. So, did she see you? Slick. You're not listening to me, bro. She looked directly in my face, man. Gonna grab this nigga hand and everything and send me a message. Damn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Damn. So, what you gonna do? What's your move, man? You gonna try to get her back or what? Man, honestly, bro, I talked to Mina, man. She got the Gucci connect for me, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? You know I've been trying to get that for a minute anyway. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go ahead and tell her to put that through, man. I would have to go out to Italy for a couple of months to get them set up, but at this point, I need to get away, man. That's a hell of a connect, man. That's a hell of a connect. She's looking out on that one. You feel me? You know how I mean to do, man. Yeah. I was trying to hold off, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to put the career over the relationship, yeah. man. I've been on the other side of that, you know what I mean? I feel you. I feel you. But now I'm just like, whatever, man. Well, let me ask you a question, bro. Do you think you still love her? Yeah, man. I do. All right. There you go. Wait. Who do you think I'm talking about? It still looks great. <laughs> See, you added a couple of paintings over there. You know I love my artwork. <laughs> so. So. they let us back in the DR. <laughs> yeah, I think I had like one too many Mama Wanas. One too many? Okay, you have enough for the both of us. You know, I thought I was good until I started stumbling around the casino <laughs> looking stupid as hell. And you kept drinking one Presidente after the other. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You making it seem like you wasn't as drunk as I was. But I just know how to hold mine a little bit better, okay? Oh, really, <laughs> really. Hmm. Good memories. Yeah. So, when were you sure about us? <laughs> mm. Miami. Mm. Miami. <laughs> yeah. The beach, the breeze, the palm trees. Mainly the beach that Sometimes night. <laughs> <laughs> that full moon was gorgeous. It was. So, I have been thinking, and I want to move forward with this opportunity with Gucci. Great! I was wondering what you're waiting on. I mean, the Leo I know would have never had me waiting this long. <laughs> yeah, I've been um, trying to figure some things out. So, what's next for you? Well, I have a great opportunity abroad for my foundation. Mm, where is it? Well, it's not sure yet, okay. but it's looking like Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Congratulations. That has been the goal. So when would you believe it? Right around the time that you would be getting back from Italy. 
But Leo, I know that this may seem like it's coming out of nowhere, but I've been thinking and I'm willing to pass on the opportunity if you think there's still a chance for us. I mean, as great as things are going with the foundation, it just, it just doesn't feel complete if I don't have my partner in crime to share with. Seems like we're here again. It seems that we are. Sometimes I feel like I've made the biggest mistake of my life, and I apologize. I want you. so nervous the way you're standing lets me know you're still hurting forgiveness is the key to closure i held back my tears and hopes to see clearly the way we are is what we were now time feels like the curse who am i to say that you're undeserving of me the girl i choose to be every morning yeah it helps me to focus on the day to come it also helps me stay more lumber I'm sure you and your new boo would like that <laughs> I know that's right I'll be like downward doggy baby so have you used any of these new positions yet girl no you mean to tell me Tierra has not seen the promised land Tierra has not seen the promised land we went on a few dates but he's just not Well, I do know a store that you can go to to get some toys if you want to buzz that bitch back to life. <laughs> I can't fool with you. Prodigal son has returned. You already know. How was your flight, bro? Man, it was cool. You know, first class, man. Oh, wow. It's always cool. Okay, yeah. okay. I take it. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm glad you can make it. Bro. Man, come on, man. You know I wouldn't miss this for the world, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> bro, I can't thank you enough for working on that marketing plan while you were gone. Yo, I know you had a lot going on. Yeah, but you know, that's the least I can do, man. Appreciate it, man. This is a big step for yeah. you, brother. Yes. Proud of you, man. Yeah, journey to financial freedom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You get everything squared away with uh, with the launch party? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Cool. Who'd you have uh, working on it with you? I had a, I had a couple people. Yeah. Like who? <laughs> it's not a trick question. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's this twinkly, y'all? Uh, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I had Alexis working on it with me. Uh, Alexis, Alexis? Yes, Alexis. Wait, what? Yes, yes. And to be honest, 
Man, we can't seem to stay away from each other. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait, wait. Alexis, Alexis. So you mean to tell me I leave for three months and come back and you and Alexis are a thing? She put it on you like that? I know, right? On some G shit, though. Dude, I never met anybody like her. I, the conversations her and I have, it's like they speak to my spirit. Yo, stop looking at me like that. Hmm. Speak to your spirit. <laughs> See, I knew it. I knew it. I believe they call that a soulmate. Feels like it. But you know what? I don't know if I'm ready to jump out the window yet. You know what, bro? In hindsight, you always know who your soulmate is. The signs are always there, but for whatever reason, we just choose to ignore our gut. It's the person that uh, makes you feel like the best version of yourself. Knows you in a way that uh, the rest of the world doesn't. Sounds like you know something about that, Phil. Yeah. Yo, take me to a spot, bro. I need to go get my lady, man. Listen, baby, there's something about you I just cannot shake. I feel like I can take over the world with you by my side. All this time away made me realize that I don't want to go another second without you by my side. So please, please do me the honor of being my wife like you're supposed to be. I'm hoping, I'm hoping those are tears of joy. Real life, it never ends the way it does in the movies. And you don't want to lose them both. Darkness is caving in. Games again.
hurt it.